In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structures for the common diatomic compounds here, these molecules here. There are seven. And the way to remember the seven is this mnemonic here. Maybe not the most K-12 appropriate mnemonic, but it works really well because we have hydrogen, nitrogen, fluorine, oxygen, iodine, chlorine here, Cl, and then bromine, Br. So these are the seven that you'll see quite frequently in chemistry. Of these seven here, fluorine, iodine, chlorine, and bromine, they're all in the same group. So these Lewis structures will be the same way. Let's start with hydrogen though. So we have H2, we'll put two hydrogen atoms here, and hydrogen is in group one on the periodic table. That means it has one valence electron. Since we have two hydrogens, we have two valence electrons. We're going to put those between atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. And this is the Lewis structure for H2. Hydrogen's kind of an exception. It only needs two valence electrons to have a full outer shell. So this hydrogen has two, this hydrogen has two. That's our Lewis structure for H2. Let's skip to oxygen right now. So for O2, we'll put our two oxygen atoms right here. Oxygen, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It'll have six valence electrons. We have two oxygen atoms. So we'll have a total of 12 valence electrons for oxygen. Let's put the two between atoms. That forms the chemical bond. Then we'll complete the octets around the oxygen atoms until we use all of our valence electrons. So right now we've used 10, 12, and that's all we have. The problem is that this oxygen right here, it only has six. This oxygen has eight. What we could do is form a double bond. We can move these between the oxygen atoms. So we put these here, and now this oxygen, it has eight, and this oxygen has eight. Let's move these down here for symmetry. So this would be the Lewis structure for O2. Let's go over to N2. We'll do it down here. Nitrogen, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. Five valence electrons, we have two of them. So we have 10 total valence electrons for the N2 Lewis structure. Again, we'll form that bond between the nitrogen atoms. Then we'll complete the octet around the outer atom. So we've used six, eight, and let's just put these over here, 10. So this nitrogen, it has eight valence electrons, but this nitrogen only has four. So again, we're gonna need to form a double bond here. Let's do that. So this is better. This nitrogen has eight, and this nitrogen now it has six. Let's just move another pair up here, form a triple bond. And now we're still using just 10 electrons, 10 of these valence electrons. Nitrogen has an octet here. This one has an octet. That's the Lewis structure for N2. We have a triple bond. Let's do one of these, what we call halogens, group 17 or 7A. Let's do chlorine. So group 17, also called 7A, seven valence electrons. We have two of those. 14 total valence electrons for the Cl2 Lewis structure. So let's write our chlorines here. We'll put a pair between atoms. That forms our bond there between the chlorine atoms. Then we'll complete the octets around these chlorine atoms until we've used all 14 valence electrons. We've used 12, last two right here. And now we've used all 14 valence electrons and each chlorine here has an octet. So this is the Lewis structure for Cl2. So we have a single bond here. And like we said, fluorine, iodine, and bromine, they'll have the same Lewis structure. We'll just replace this symbol. They're all single bonds. We could replace these bonds between atoms with a single line to show that we have these single, double, and triple bonds. Let's do that. So the single line, that represents a pair of electrons shared between atoms. So that's how you draw Lewis structures for diatomic compounds, diatomic molecules here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.